Hello and welcome to another market wrap for the areas of Earlham, Caddyshead and Rixton. Today we look at the month of July in full. As always, I'm here to provide you with information and how the market has reacted last month. I will discuss all figures such as amount of houses put onto the market, sold, reduced and the ever important price per square foot or price per square metre, whichever metric system you prefer. Let's see if the market's gone up, down or stabilised. Last month saw Labour take control of the government. As we say goodbye to the Conservatives, will the election result bring confidence back to the market? As you may be aware, interest rates did come down on the 1st of August and we'll hopefully see the benefit of that this time next month when I do my August report. But today we are talking July, so let's jump straight into it. To make things fair, we'll do everything in alphabetical order, so let's start with Caddy's Head. There were 17 new homes brought onto the market in July, which is bang on average. If we look back over the last six years, the average shows 17. If we jump back a year, we see 18 listings. So the market is very, very much on average territory, which is good news, it's not going down. There were 77 properties for sale in the area, six year average shows 59, and 64 houses were put on the market in July 23. This year we are clearly ahead of the mould. Let's talk maths. I'm not sure if your ears pricked up there or that switched you off, but let's do it anyway. Average asking price was £232,941. If we look back on last month, June, the same figure was £252,272. So we see a shift in asking prices down around £20,000. So that is interesting. Jumping into the pound per square foot, those houses for sale averaged £268 per square foot. There were 18 sales agreed. If we compare this to 2023, that figure was eight. So a drastic increase this year compared to last. However, the six year average shows us 15 sales agreed is the average figure. So we are more than last year and more than the average in six years. So this is very positive. However, if we look into the average asking price of the sale achieved properties, then that shows an average asking price of just 198,055 pounds, which calculates at £233 per square foot. Um, this is what I use to give realistic valuations. I use that to calculate. After seeing quite a range of difference between the asking prices and asking price achieved, actually achieved is around £33,000 different. And again, just as a side note, this is all agents and not just me in the whole area of Caddy's Head. So some interesting facts and figures. There is some positive news though. So let's briefly run through some other figures. Price reductions, there were 11, uh, six year averages nine. There were four houses withdrawn, six year averages three. And there were two fall throughs, which was bang on average if we look back over a six year period. Now jumping across Liverpool Road and into Earl and past this police station, let's take a deep dive into these facts and figures. There were 23 new listings in Earlham in the month of July. There were 24 last year, and we were bang on average of 23 of the six year average. There were 94 properties available in Earlham with an average asking price of 246,000 pounds, 629, and this counts at 282 pounds per square foot. We jumped back to last month in June, these figures showed 296 pound per square foot. So they have reduced by 14 pound per square foot in just one month. Sales agreed, there were 18 in July last year, so 14 and the six year average is 18. So we're bang in the middle there. The average asking price achieved for those 18 sales was 262,499 pound, which equates to 277 pound per square foot. Again, that price per square foot is what I use to calculate our realistic valuations because that's generally what you achieve. Out of interest, last month showed an average asking price achieved of £228,499, which was £278 per square foot, which is identical virtually to June and July. Quickly breezing over a few more facts, there were eight price changes or market corrections, I like to call them. 
Compared to 18 this time last year, so much fewer properties being reduced, so that's positive. There were two properties withdrawn in July. Six year average is six, and there were five home sales that fell through, which is down compared to June, which was nine. And that's a good place to finish up with Earlham. And finally, we'll head over that roundabout in Hollings Green, turn right, down more towards Rixton, Glazebrook, and as this covers WA36, also some areas of Lowton. There were 16 new listings in July. The average over a six year period is 15. There were 22 new listings in June, so down slightly there. There were 66 properties available on the market in this areas, with an average asking price of 282,188 pounds, which calculates at 255 pound per square foot. June Whereas had an average asking price of £251,361, which equated to £315 per square foot. So market drops in this area of Rixton. Sales agreed there were 16 in the month of July with an average asking price of £275,938, which is grossly higher than June, which had a result of £170,909. This will be mainly because last month, lower priced properties achieved a sale, whereas the higher priced properties simply did not. The realistic average pound per square foot, therefore, is £263 per square foot and again if we jump back to June the month before it was £260 per square foot so it just shows you whether the expensive houses are selling or the cheap houses are selling the pound per square foot remains very very similar and that's why it's a good figure to use and finally the stats were there were seven price reductions or market corrections in July the six year average is five only one house was withdrawn from the market the six year average is four and there were two fall throughs with home sellers ending up unhappy and losing their sales. We are here for you if you need us with a six year average showing four. So in conclusion, the market is stable. Figures seem comparative to the way they've been acting earlier this year. They're slightly better, but the news compared to 2023 is much more positive figures throughout. Obviously the bank reduced their base uh, rate down to 5% from 5.25%. We'll see the reaction to that in the coming weeks. Hopefully we'll see something by this time next month, if not definitely by the end of September. Uh, that will all be factored into the market. It will be interesting to see the results of pound per square foot and what their reaction is to the base rate changes. If you are the, one of those people that we mentioned above that has reduced, withdrawn or had a fall through, it might be time for a new perspective. Feel free to get in touch with us for that perspective. Thank you very much for listening if you still are. As always, I'm here for any market advice, property advice, mortgages, remortgages, rentals or a sales valuation. Happy to help and I'm sure I'll see you again this time next month. Have a great month of August.